Hello, Hell Stalkers. This is Derek Klein coming to you from the Hell Palace, and uh, we've got an active Memorial Day coming to you. So first of all, uh, we want to wish everybody a, a happy Memorial Day. We want to give a special thanks to all the veterans and all of those serving us currently in the military. Uh, it means a lot to us, everything you do for us, for our freedom here in the United States, as well as freedoms really around the world. So uh, a special thanks to you guys for everything that you do, and uh, we hope that you have the opportunity to enjoy Memorial Day as well. Uh, we've got an active weather, like we said earlier, and uh, it looks like we're going to have some potential for significant hail. There's going to be tornadoes and uh, maybe the biggest threat, maybe flooding again across Texas and Oklahoma. And uh, so we're going to jump right on into the forecast, take a look at what we're expecting. So this is for your Monday Memorial Day, and uh, we've got a large area where, again, the potential for some significant hail. So uh, it runs up across parts of Iowa down through the southeast corner of Nebraska, so Omaha, down into Kansas City, uh, potentially Wichita, although there is a boundary that looks like it's stabled out the air in Wichita, uh, down to Oklahoma City, maybe over to Tulsa, uh, Dallas, you're gonna see you're in a big threat, and then currently we have a, a complex of storms that's already going on uh, that stretches across parts of west and central and south central Texas, and uh, that's gonna expand and move off to the northeast, and that'll be our big hail, tornado, and flood threat uh, that we're going to have as we go through the afternoon hours. So here's the uh, the most likely area for the largest hail. Uh, you can see up to baseball size hail is possible. Uh, that includes southern Oklahoma, uh, Dallas, Texas, uh, down to San Antonio, Austin, Waco. You guys are all in it basically up and down the I-35 corridor. Uh, now the big question with all of these thunderstorms today uh, is going to be line mergers and uh, merging thunderstorms. So the more isolated these storms stay, the better the opportunity for significant hail is in this area. If we see a large complex of thunderstorms, which we will see, but if we see storms out ahead of that develop and become isolated, instability is really through the roof across this part of the country today. So uh, they're going to have a potential for large hail if we can get those conditions to happen. So again, isolated storms will be the key today. Uh, if the storms break up or if they, or not necessarily break up, but if they merge together and they're running into each other all afternoon, uh, the health threat comes way down with these severe thunderstorms. So uh, that'll be the question for today. It's really been the question for about the last two weeks. Uh, most of the severe weather been in Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas, and that's really been the, uh, the big question is how isolated can the storm stay? Uh, most of them have not stayed isolated, but again, we think we've got a better opportunity today. So taking a look at your individual forecast for each location across the country, uh, we're going to take a look at Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, so here in Omaha, 4 to 9 p.m. this afternoon, this evening, your hail threat goes the highest. Uh, potential for up to golf ball size hail. The chance of hell is only about 15%. So we're going to have a few storms that are going to fire in this area. They will have the potential for golf ball size hell if they happen. And uh, wind driven hell, maybe some 65 mile per hour winds. These storms will develop and move towards the Des Moines area. I don't know if they'll make it quite that far as we go through the afternoon hours. Uh, but again, the best chance in this part of the country is going to be up around Omaha, Nebraska, where we've got about a 15% chance. Uh, we'll take a quick look here at Kansas City. Again, golf ball size hail from 4 to 9 p.m. possible. Only about a 10% chance in Kansas City, so the threat is a lot lower. Uh, Wind-driven hail, 65 mile per hour winds possible with any of the severe thunderstorms that develop around Kansas City. Jumping down south, this is going to be for the, uh, the complex of storms that's in Texas. So Oklahoma City, we're going to go from about 3 to 8 p.m. Uh, the max hail size, if storms can stay isolated uh, or can isolate and develop out ahead of this main complex, then two-inch hail will be possible across parts of Oklahoma City. Uh, we'll have about a 20% chance uh, for hail, better chances further to the south. And uh, again, potential for up to 65 mile per hour winds. Could also have some isolated tornadoes and a, a pretty extreme flooding threat for Oklahoma City as well. And uh, we'll continue south uh, down across the line as we head into Dallas, Texas and over towards Waco. Uh, we're gonna go one to 9 p.m. Uh, for this area. Again, more instability, more opportunity for isolated storms. So potential there for baseball size hail across Dallas and Waco, about a 40% chance. So this is a fairly high chance. Again, the big question is, can the storm stay isolated? If they do, uh, this chance may even go up higher uh, for the Dallas Metro as this complex moves in really right about peak heating and uh, about the peak opportunity for large hail. 
wind driven hail, 70 mile per hour winds will be possible with some of this as well. So again, the potential is there for a pretty significant severe weather afternoon across Dallas and uh, really even down, down the line towards Austin, San Antonio. A little bit earlier the storms get there, 12 to 8 p.m. Uh, hail size up to baseball size. Chance of hail is about 35% and wind driven hail, potentially up to 70 mile per hour winds as well. So a little bit lower threat again, uh, as we think it's more of a linear event as it moves into the San Antonio Austin area. But again, if these storms stay isolated, very large hail will be likely as instability is really through the roof uh, as we go through the afternoon hours today across Texas. Well, that's our forecast for today, uh, your Memorial holiday. Uh, again, we hope everybody enjoys their afternoon. Uh, hopefully you're getting some time off to spend with family and friends. And uh, as always, if you have any questions, uh, we're here at Helltrace. The uh, email is info at helltrace.com and our toll free number is 855-334-4245. Uh, we hope everybody has a great afternoon.